the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth, so that by following your holy word, we may gain eternal salvation. In today's Gospel reading, we hear a story of Jesus and the Canaanite woman. She calls out to Jesus for help for her daughter. The disciples are annoyed with her persistence. Even though she is an enemy of the Jews, Jesus recognizes her strong faith and responds to her wish. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is Lord of all. How can you follow Jesus and reach out to make sure that everyone is included? And now let us call to mind our sins. We will recite the second form computer. I confess to my God, God in, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, 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 all saints and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done or failed to do. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord God. For your penance, please say our Father, Hail Mary and glory be for all our sick parishioners, your relatives and friends. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you and with his authority vested in me, I absolve you from all your sins in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The entrance came of Jerusalem, stand upon the heights, look to the east and see your children gathered from the east and the west at the word of the Holy One, rejoicing that they are remembered by God. I rejoice when they say to me, let us go to the house of the Lord, and now we be standing in your gates of Jerusalem. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now, and shall be, Jesus Christ. 
fader ju daderas brönde för korners av er. Fröjar kvar i vårt. Open the closed ears of those who wander. That they may hear your word which alone brings peace. Lord, those who die stay in your presence and your sins rejoice in complete happiness. Pleasant to our prayers for Fredag, the French, Dorothy, Walter, Orland, Vincent, Jane, Roger, Agatha, your children, who have passed from the light of this world, and bring them to the day of eternal radiance. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you, the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, observe what is right, do what is just, for my salvation is about to come, my justice about to be revealed. The foreigners who join themselves to the Lord, ministering to him, loving the name of the Lord and becoming his servants, all who keep the Sabbath free of profanation and hold to my covenant, them I will bring to my holy mountain and make joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be acceptable on my altar, for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. This is the word of the Lord. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I am speaking to you Gentiles as much as I am the apostles to the Gentiles. I glory in my ministry in order to make my race jealous and thus save some of them. For if their rejection is the reconciliation of the world, what will their acceptance be but life from the dead? For the gifts and the call of God are irreceivable, just as you once disobeyed God but now you have received mercy because of their disobedience. 
So they have now disobeyed in order that, by virtue of the mercy shown to you, they too may now receive mercy. For God delivered all to disobedience that he might have mercy upon us all. This is the word of the Lord. say a word in answer to her. His disciples came and asked him, send her away, for she keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the women came and did Jesus harm, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, it is not right to take the foot of the children and throw it to the dog. She said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. And Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And the woman's daughter was healed from that hour. This is the gospel of the Lord. Mass is offered for the repose of the souls of Freda Agda Norberg, Frank and Dorothy Johnson, Walter Johnson, Orlen Fassett, Vincent Birch, Jane Renick, Roger Walter, Agatha Mansolek. This is the All Souls Day Remembrance Mass. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. you vengeful follow me, Jesus Christus. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you 
as you wish. My dear holy people of God, two questions. How strong is your faith? And how great is your love? Before you answer these questions, listen to the phenomenal story of the Canaanite woman's encounter with Jesus and his disciples. The woman called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. A Canaanite woman begs Jesus for a miracle. Her daughter is tormented by a demon. <clears throat> what does Jesus do? Jesus doesn't say a word. But the woman war was persistent. She kneels before Jesus, Lord, help me. This is the shocker. Jesus says, it is not right to take the food of children and throw it to the dogs. Really? Where is all the love and compassion? Where is the real Jesus? It sound, sounded more like an insult. Not to this woman. She gives Jesus a great comeback. Please, Lord, even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Can you imagine saying that? She's saying, I love you, Jesus, and I believe that after you help the Jews, you will help everyone, including me. What was her secret? Why didn't she just walk away? Her secret was great faith. Her secret was love. She loved her daughter so much she made her misery her own. She loved her daughter so much she was willing to suffer anything, even humiliation, in order to heal her. And we see from the Gospel that by the strong faith and love we can receive everything from God when we pray, when we come to the house of God, the church, the house of prayer, like first reading said. Listen to another story on how a nurse witnessed the power of love and faith work in the life of an old man. One busy morning in a hospital, an 80 years old man arrived to have the stitches removed from his tongue. He told the attending nurse that he was in a hurry as he had an appointment to have breakfast with his wife in a nursing home. The nurse asked the old man, Will your wife be worried if you were late? He replied, No. She has Alzheimer's disease and she will not even recognize me. The nurse was surprised and asked again, And you still go every morning even though she doesn't know who you are? The old man smiled and said, She doesn't know me, but I still know who she is. I love her and I still feel that she loves me too. Our faith in God makes us love each other until death do us part. And the Lord said to herself, That is the kind of love and faith I want in my life. The old man, even if not recognized by his wife, his love empowers him to be with her forever. This is the reason why the Lord said to herself, that is the kind of love I want in my life. Brothers and sisters, the Canaanite woman rejected and insulted. Her faith in Jesus was the motivating force for her to plead for her daughter's healing. This is the reason 
Why Jesus said to her, O oh woman, great is your faith. Let it be done to you as you wish. When faith and love converge together, miraculous and significant things happen. It can even move God's compassion and mercy. How about you? What kind of faith do you practice? And what kind of love do you communicate? You should emulate the power full faith on the Canaanite woman in our gospel and follow the inspiring love of the old man in our story. Many of us have experienced rejection and installed, and we know that the impact is very degrading, humiliating. But let our life spirit be like the Canaanite woman, very persistent and courageous in our approach to life's challenges. At the end, Jesus will tell us, great is your faith, let it be done to you as you wish. Many of us have experienced that our love is turned down, denied and dismissed. And the impact of our life is so demoralizing. But we should emulate the spirit of the old man, although his wife doesn't recognize him. He holds on into their promise to love each other forever. And we can say with the Norse, that is the kind of love I want in my life. My dear friends, today we learned from the Gospel and the story two valuable virtues we must hold on in our hearts in order to enter the kingdom. A faith that moves the compassion of God and a love that endures forever. And God bless you all. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father. Through the all things were made for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born in the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified in the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken to the prophets. I believe one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. The Lord be with you. Absolutely. With the confident faith in, of the Canaanite woman, let us offer our prayers to the Father in Jesus' name. That in our humble service and welcome to all, our church may be a house of prayer for all people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our prime bishop, bishops, priests, deacons, and all who serve the church, May reveal the unseen presence of God among us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we are prayer. For those who long for the equality of all persons, that their dedication to the unborn, the old, the condemned, and the forgotten may grow every day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we are prayer. For the healing of all family grievances and divisions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died in the peace of Christ, especially 
Ford, Fred Alden, Norberg, Frank and Dorothy Johnson, Walter Johnson, Orlen Bassett, Vincent Beer, Jane Rennick, Roger Walter, Agatha Marsole, that God will raise them to new life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, That the Father of mercies will hear the prayers without making the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Almighty God, in your mercy, you spare your people, increase our faith in you, and hear us in Jesus Christ our Lord.
opere in Sacre Pais. We offer them for your Holy Catholic Church, asking you to defend and guide it throughout the world. We offer them for Anthony, our Prime Bishop, and Bernard, our Bishop, and for all bishops, presidents, and other ministers who profess the true faith which comes to us from the apostles. Remember your people, Lord, especially our brothers and sisters for whom we now pray. <clears throat> Remember all of us who are present here, who truly believe and are devoted to you. We offer this sacrifice of praise to you, our living, eternal and true God, for ourselves and all those we love, for the redemption of our souls who wish for, for our salvation. Together with the whole church, we honor the Virgin Mary, the Mother of our Lord Jesus Christ. We also honor the apostles and martyrs, as well as all those who have lived and died confessing your name. In remembering them, we desire to follow their example and so gain your love and power. Father, accept this offering from your whole family. Grant us your peace in this life. Preserve us from spiritual damnation and count us among your chosen people. Bless, accept and approve this offering we now make to you and let it be pleasing to you. Fill it with the power of the Holy Spirit and let it become for us the body and the blood of your Son of the Lord Jesus Christ. The day before he suffered and died, our Lord desired to make his love known to his disciples and all who would follow him. He therefore instituted the sacred mysteries by which he joined himself with them, spiritual and body, his body, and abides with us forever. At that moment, so sacred for all of humanity, Jesus took bread into his holy hands and looking up to heaven, to you, his almighty Father, he gave you thanks. He blessed the bread, brought it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. When supper had ended, he took the cup. In the same way, he gave you thanks, blessed it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it. <laughs> Father, in celebration of the memorial of Jesus Christ, your Son, we are people who recall his passion, resurrection from the dead and ascension into glory. Brother Managis, you have given us, we offer you this here, holy and spotless offering, the holy bread of life and the holy cup of eternal salvation. Look, the rabbi on these offerings and accept them, as you once accepted the gifts of your servant Abel and the sacrifice of our father in faith, Abraham, and the bread and wine offered by your priest Melchizedek. In humility we ask, Father, that this offer is be carried by your angel to your high altar in heaven, so that it will receive the sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar, may be with your grace and blessing. Remember, Lord, our brothers and sisters, especially Fred, Agda, Frank, Dorothy, Walter, Orland, Vincent, Jane, Roger, Agatha, who have died and have gone before us marked with the sign of faith. Mm. 
May this and all who rest in Christ find happiness, light, and peace. And we will trust in your love, also as we included in the fellowship of your holy apostles, martyrs, and saints who offer their lives to you. They were filled with your justice and mercy, and because they lived in accord with the teachings of Jesus, gained eternal joy. Count us among them, Father, not because of what we truly deserve, but because you are willing to forgive us. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, by whom you give us all of these gifts. You fill them with life and goodness, you bless them and make them holy. <coughs> In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the Lord, our Savior gave us. Our Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Amen. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not the participation in the blood of Christ? That bread which we break, is it not the participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. May the union of the unity and humanity in Jesus Christ bring us sanctification and eternal life. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you this, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord. And also with you. Let us over each other a sign of peace. The 
This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the table of the Lord.
Oh, 